In next example, uh, I will show you how to use uh, custom HID class, uh, one of the standard USB class, uh, also supported by QPMX. What is good for? Uh, custom HID is intended for data, uh, data communication using the interrupt transfer. So instead of the CDC, which is using bulk, here are the interrupts. So uh, the response of the device of the communication is uh, ensured, uh, the bandwidth is allocated, but uh, uh, the throughput is limited to 64 kilobytes per second and uh, the communication is expecting a fixed packet. Uh, what is uh, the biggest advantage and uh, why it's worth to use it is that it, as a standard class uh, with HID it uh, don't need any drivers uh, for Microsoft Windows so uh, you are able to deploy uh, without additional uh, um, driver uh, development, additional uh, signing of the driver and uh, it uh, can be very easy for some control transfer. So in our example we will again uh, use CubeMX. So we are using F446 Nucleo LQFP144. Like for each USB application on F4, we need to use high speed external here, bypass from ST Link. We want to have OTG full speed as device only. And the class we will use in the middleware is a custom human interface device. Additionally, we will also use the uh, PC13 for the input, which is uh, the button here. So in the clock configuration, our input frequency is 8 MHz. We want to use the high speed external and some big, bigger speed. OK, 48 for the USB and we are good to generate. Here bigger heap is not needed so only the name need to be choosed. And for sure the ID we are using. So we open the project and we can take a look inside of it. In default shape, uh, the custom hit example is generated uh, for the messages uh, with uh, size of two bytes from, uh, for the historical reason, but uh, we will use the 464 uh, bytes for the communication uh, between the host and device. So for this, we need to change the configuration. So we will go to uh, include file to the configuration one. And here we will change the uh, size. So instead of two, we will use 64. So 0x40 and the same also for the report descriptor that's all here and uh, in the custom hit interface uh, not here no, not in the interface here uh, is the uh, size of the endpoints. 
so we see the numbers and the size so we want to increase the size which will be then propagated to the configuration descriptor also the uh, report descriptors uh, size which that was which is already changed so this is no report okay this is wrongly this should this is not about the size of the buffer but the size of the hit report descriptor which uh, we will uh, modify a bit later so let's go back to uh, custom hit dot age and here is the structure uh, of the custom hit we can see that uh, the out event is expecting uh, two bytes but as we change uh, to have uh, 40 bytes we will use a buffer instead so let's pass a pointer instead of this configuration With these changes, uh, we will go to the middleware to class functionality and uh, here is the uh, uh, configuration descriptor of our device so to this descriptor uh, were propagated the changes uh, we made in the header files additionally we can change here the pulling interval uh, which is uh, defining how often uh, device uh, should ask uh, uh, sorry the host should ask uh, for data from our device so here we can uh, lower uh, to get better response but then uh, the bandwidth uh, can be limited for other devices more important here is to uh, change the out and in uh, functions uh, which are used so hid data out we can see that here in the out event is uh, pass the pointer to only two bytes and uh, we want to change it uh, to buffer so instead of two bytes here is a buffer and the uh, same we will do also for uh, endpoint zero rx ready So this change uh, provides us uh, the possibility to send more than two bytes. Now we will go uh, to the source file and the uh, custom hit interface we have, which is again prepared uh, for two bytes. So first uh, we will create a buffer for example never mind now it's defined for 64 elements which is uh, good for the full speed but for example with high speed usage there uh, or other speed usage they could be, be uh, different sizes uh, uh, needed but uh, for now it's uh, not uh, crucial for us so we have our buffer and again here 
uh, we have uh, two bytes where we are using the buffer So we keep one of them and uh, change to the pointer. And the same we need to do also for the function itself. So only one is here and is a pointer. So this is uh, what happened. Uh, when we receive some data. Uh, as we are acting as a device, uh, we are in out direction from the host point of view. So this is the callback uh, upon receiving any kind of data. So for the demonstration purpose, uh, we will adhere the echo functionality. So we will copy uh, receive data to the buffer. So buffer and after that uh, we need uh, somehow to send the data. This function is uh, in the interface and it's called uh, usbd custom hid send report. So we will pass the, the handler of the device. And uh, the buffer. So we don't need to re retype. And the uh, length is fixed to 64. But very important step, which is uh, probably the biggest drawback of this solution, is the uh, report descriptor, which is uh, common for the HID. Uh, you, you were able to see it also with the mouse, keyboard, and it's a collection of numbers uh, without any meaning from the human point of view, which is defining the functionality of the device itself and uh, make uh, the solution universal. But uh, as it's not uh, easily readable for human, it's also not so easy to create such a number. And uh, there are dedicated tools for it. And uh, probably the easiest way is to uh, find some source online, follow that source and use uh, its values. Uh, you can uh, see the values we will use in presentation, I, I'm not able to uh, 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 describe here all the meanings and so on. It's better to go directly to the specification. Uh, just to highlight, here is the um, report count. So here we are directly showing the size of the data we will use. So now we are ready for building the project. Oh, what happened? That's better and to load to the microcontroller. So let's run. Let's see, we see STM32 a human interface device. And again, in attachment uh, of this example, uh, you can uh, find the uh, Terminal application, uh, it's very simple demo, but uh, you can 
uh, use for the test purposes and for the in next inspiration. So we can uh, send uh, some data and here in the receive we will see what is returned from the PC. Like before, uh, plug and play if natively supported. So for example now if I uh, remove the USB and uh, plug it again, I am still able to send and to receive the data. If I remove and send, we get a failure to open the device and the device is and the program is closed. So using do simple step, you are uh, create any any uh, type of application which you may need for simple communication between uh, host and device without additional need for the drivers also with uh, defined response time from the from the device